the month and I am back, praise God. And um, I just want to let you know that um, we have a professional barber, that's the name of it, and that's Mr. James Bowie. And he's a professional barber and he's at the Village Square, 927 Goldwyn Avenue, Suite 126, Orlando, Florida, 32805. If you would like to get in touch with him, you can go call him at 407 810 7552. That's 407-810-810-7552. And his email is jbuoy at yahoo.com. And you can visit him right there at the Professional Barbershop in the Village Square, 927 Gwendolyn Avenue, Suite 126, Orlando, Florida, 32805. And let him know that you heard about him on WSDO on your 1400 AM favorite Dow, praise God. I just want to open up this morning with Psalms 24 because I rejoiced in this when I heard this. And it says, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart who hath not lifted up his soul into vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord, and the righteousness from God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Selah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. You know, it doesn't matter what you're going through. The King of glory shall come in. You have to know how to change your atmosphere. You know, because if you're not careful, you end up being drawn into other pro other people's problems, other people's situation. Sometimes you could be having a peaceful atmosphere. And all of a sudden, someone will come in, and they're going through something. And they're speaking, they're spewing what they're going through. But they don't realize that they're changing your atmosphere. So what you do, you let you listen to them. But then you come back in a, a, a positive way, in, in a loving way, to where that problem that they had on their mind that was so um, vexing their spirit, that they could, you could smooth it out. And you can smooth it out. And you can remind them the promise of the Lord and what the Lord has said to them. You can um, change that atmosphere back to the way that atmosphere has already been, praise God. Because you realize sometimes you, when other people, when you go into visit houses, I don't know why God got me going here, but must be somebody need to hear it. When you go in other people's um, atmosphere, when you leave there, sometimes that atmosphere, you bring it right back to your house. And then you're wondering why your house is out of order or out of whack. It's because you didn't praise God. You didn't release that thing. When you walk into an atmosphere, you're supposed to say, okay, you're the, you're the, the I am Liz was in you, right? So when you go into an atmosphere, you can pray within yourself uh, before you even get there. Lord, anything in that atmosphere will not affect me, God. As a matter of fact, when I walk into that home, it's in your word that peace shall abide in that home, praise God. And if they don't receive you, then you bring your peace back unto you. But you got to realize, you're, that's your dwelling place. Your home is your dwelling place. Ain't no way you should let um, the devil rule and reign inside that atmosphere. Because each and every one of us um, are dealing with something within our lives, praise God. Whether it's good, whether it's bad. But always know to make your atmosphere pleasant. And then you'll wonder why people want to come in or come around you because they see you in a good spirit. Nobody want to be around nobody in a bad mood, in a bad spirit. Or oh, I always got pain here. Or oh, I'm always going through this. And some people only knew some of the pain or what I be going through. Y'all be like, how in the world you keep going? But you know what? It's the spirit of God that dwells on the inside of me. Because daily I see myself in my desired state. I see myself in the state that I want. Um, to be in. I see myself driving my Mercedes. I see myself unlocking my door into my mansion, praise God. I see myself, and I don't mind working hard to get those things that, that God um, want us to obtain, because nothing is going to just drop out of you out of the sky. But I want to tell you, when you really care about God's people and um, the community, you know what? When you be about God's business, God will be about your business. God will cause people to give into your bosom. You know why? Because you love God. You know why? Because you have a pure heart and clean hands. You don't have no wrong motives. But you got to understand, anybody doing business, praise God, there's so much that I want to talk about. There's so much that I want to do. I'm going to get back and do a little bit on commitment because I'm definitely doing a, a, um, a study on commitment. I'm doing a writing on commitment that I'm getting putting it together. And it's going to be into a booklet form. But 
I just want you to know that in business, even dealing in business, even in ministries, you understand, you have to carry your ministry like a business in order for it to flourish. There's a lot of times we want to do a lot of things and we can't do it, but we got to realize that even the play, the playwright that I'm doing um, on the Goldsboro Bridge, anybody who embraced me to want to help me with this play, they're going to be blessed too. Because God guarantee you that there's nothing that someone, someone ain't just going to help you if it ain't going to benefit them. Because everything in life is supposed to benefit you. Every person in your life is supposed to benefit you. You understand what I'm saying? In a positive way. When you go to church, your pastor, your first lady, they're benefiting you. Because they're sharing within you the word of God that's coming out of them. And so when they ask for an offering, you getting blessed. So that's how you be a blessing. You understand? God wants you to be a blessing as well. Okay, when I put on my plate, I need y'all to y'all love and support to help financially as well. Because there are others, whoever um, produces this play, they're going to be blessed. I'm, I'm gonna, uh, my business gonna be blessed. The people around me gonna be blessed. You understand what I'm saying? It's not only gonna be instilling the true facts of what went on in our history, but others will be blessed as well. Praise God. Because it's time for us to come together and embrace each other. A lot of times when things happen, people want it to swept under the rug. They don't want it to remember, be remembered no more. But you gotta realize, if there's something ever came happen to this earth, if there was never a no more Florida, if there was never a no more California, guess what? It still got records of it. It still got recordings of it. They found cities up under the water and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? But we got technology where they didn't have technology before. So people of God, that's why there's records all over the world. You could go to Florida and you could go way over um, somewhere else and you'll still be able to pull up your records, praise God. They'll still be able to pull up your property, praise God. You understand what I'm saying? So we got to be able to benefit each other because I want my play to be able to be a blessing to the Goldsboro Museum and to the um, Dr. Thelma Resource Center. I want to be able to put back into the community. I want the world to know where they could come and visit Goldsboro. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not asking for nothing. I'm doing what God called me to do. And I know by me doing what God called me to do, he going to be a blessing to me. But see, there's so, there's so many people that have reason they got certain ones they want to bless. You don't deserve to be blessed. Then you sit there and you think God don't see you going behind people back, trying to discourage them about being in the place, trying to discourage them about being with this person, trying to be discouraged them about being in this church, being in that. God ain't with all that mess. And you know what? If we first look on the inside of what's going on the inside of us and deal with the demons that we have on the inside of us, then we could get somewhere. Then we could go somewhere. If you don't deal with yourself, how do you think you're going to be able to deal with anybody else? Because people could see the realness. There's some out there that are prophets, hidden prophets, hidden evangelists, out there on those streets, but they don't want to come to the